Hi folks, this is Doug Roper with another Fort Nelson Community Update. We're here at Fort Nelson Secondary School at Aboriginal Career Day, talking to industry and teens about career choices. Hi, my name is Teresa Gladue and I'm the guest speaker here for the Ninas Youth Aboriginal Career Fair Day and I spoke to them this morning about endless possibilities and they'll be having more guest speakers later on in the day as well as entertainment as well as prizes and also they go to all these tables to find out uh, different career choices like an ambulance driver, an RCMP officer, um, a firefighter so they can go and find out what job possibilities are out there like this gentleman here is from neighbors oil and gas if they want they were interested in oil and gas work so this is what this is all about is getting kids involved in deciding what career choice that they wanted to go through okay so my name's warren mcdonald i'm here i spoke this morning at the uh the career fair so pretty much my aim if you like is to give kids something to think about that there's more possibilities out there than we sometimes think is really the, pri the prime part of my message you know sometimes I think we all we put obstacles up in our own heads and we, we forget how powerful we, we are so that's the beauty of what's happening here is kids get to do some hands-on try and figure out what it is that they want to do after they leave school because I don't know about you guys, I was guilty. I didn't have a clue when I left school what I wanted to do, so this is really what it's all about, and I like the way that it's hands-on, and it's great to, to be a part of it. Hi, I'm James Charles with uh, Fort Nelson Fire Rescue. I'm the uh, Deputy Fire Chief, and we're here today with the Career Fair, just uh, more or less discussing uh, what a career is like in the fire service. Anywhere to get a, a, a job in the fire service, you need your grade 12, uh, no criminal record, there's a lot of places now looking for trades people, so you may even have to go to university or uh, have a trade before you even apply. So The uh, career fair I think is great for the uh, teenagers to get out and see what jobs are out there available to them and uh, talk to the whoever's uh, out there working in those trades today. So it uh, gives them something to look forward to when they do graduate. My name is Dana Ball. I own Sikini Automotive beside Bumper to Bumper downtown Fort Nelson. And I'm up here doing career days because I feel after, you have to educate the youth nowadays and get them interested in the industry of automotive repair. I am dual ticketed in automotive and heavy duty, uh, but I just, my shop does automotive. And I just brought a little sample of some of the tools we use in our industry to repair vehicles for diagnostics. Uh, I have a welding helmet, uh, a battery tester, some manuals, uh, calipers. These are Mitchell On Demand, which I use on my computer for diagnostics. Uh, my card reader, it reads trouble codes, all that kind of stuff. And it's, you know, to keep the kids interested in what we do in the automotive industry because it's so expensive nowadays. Um, and if you touch one person and get them interested, it's made this all worthwhile. You know, if you look all across Canada and even North America, a lot of the old mechanics are now retiring, right? Uh, I'm 50 years old. I'm not going to retire for a long time yet. Uh, my son is my apprentice. Uh, my daughter is actually in a career of cooking, right? And you have to have careers nowadays. And in Fort Nelson, where there's not a whole lot of mechanics, it should be fairly easy to get into the industry. And there's been lots of them stop by, and for the most part, they're all pretty enthusiastic about it. Hi, I'm Susan Ranney from Northern Lights College. We're here today to talk to the students about dual credit programs and the rest of the programs here at the college that we offer. We do offer college programs from Fort Nelson to Dawson Creek and beyond. And the most questions we have been asked today are the dual credit programs and programs in our trades such as welding. This is great. It's a great aspect so that we can actually get out there and, and get the kids involved in their community and interested in their futures and their future education. So it's, it's just fantastic. My name is Blake Elford. I'm the new paramedic chief here in Fort Nelson. We're uh, here at the career fair to introduce a lot of the, the young Aboriginal people to um, the 
the ambulance service as a career and also to make them a little more comfortable with what we do as an industry. We've got um, some of our basic equipment here just to uh, showcase some of our the, the actual jobs that we do and a lot of them are actually fairly shy and meek and they're saying that they, they don't like the sight of blood and they're not really interested in the career. With training and with experience you start thinking more about what you're doing for the patient and less about the pain and the emotion that they're going through at that particular moment. It's a great career. I, wouldn't, I can't imagine doing anything else. My name is Kyle Needley and there's, there's a lot here to pick from and I, I kind of like the Northern Knights College because it gives you like all of the different like trades that they, they, they give you and because like I want to take my heavy duty mechanic and they can like help me do that and you know like give me what I need. Um, hi, I'm Darcy. I really enjoyed the career fair because it gives lots of information to the students about what kind of careers we could go into in the future and lots of great activity information. I really like this career fair because it gives me a lot of information about what kind of jobs there are out there that I can actually get when I'm out of school. My name is Dean Bertrand and I'm here at the career day and I like the Northern Lights College and I'm interested in the aircraft maintenance engineering program and I look forward to it next year that I join it. Thanks everyone for participating in Aboriginal Career Day and also best of luck to all the teens and their career choices. This is Doug Roper with another Fort Nelson Community Update.